Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Davida, digital content creator, fashion and lifestyle blogger at Vita Fashionista. I would love to have you guys come back, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my new videos, which are uploaded every Thursday and Sunday. If you love fashion, fashion hauls, try-ons, natural hair, and more, this is definitely the place for you. Today's video, I'm so excited to share. I have not done this in a while. This is a what's in my bag video. The last one that I did, you guys absolutely loved. So I will be revealing the bag to you first. Then I'm gonna show you what's inside of my bag. I'm gonna do a little review for you, tell you pros and cons, and at the end, I will even do a size comparison. Okay, drum roll, please. Ready, 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 are we ready? La -di -da -di -da -di -da. Isn't she a beauty? Ah! I just fall more and more in love with this bag every time I see it. This is the Gucci padlock in the small size and spoiler alert, I am absolutely smitten with it. It also comes in a larger size too, but I opted for the small one. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be a little bit bittersweet for me because I bought this bag for my birthday last year and I just made a pact with myself that I will buy myself a designer bag every year and I don't think that's happening, at least not for my birthday next month, but maybe, you know, in the end of, towards the end of the year or later on in the year. But enough of my first world sob story. Let's just get into this bag. Here's another look at it. So it's called the Gucci padlock for obvious reasons on the front. The way that you get inside of the bag is with this padlock. And then here is the look at the back of it. It has this pocket right here, which actually isn't even a functional pocket, but I actually love it for the design element. It just adds an extra layer and color to it. And it's so unique. You don't usually see Gucci bags that look like this, which is why I was drawn to it in the first place. Now let's open it up and see what's inside of it. I will be using this little side table over here that I have just to rest the bag on, but I'm going to open it for you. So you go through the padlock, you just click right there. So if you hear that, it goes, there's a sound and then you lift it up. And then I really loaded this bag up, but that is everything that I have on the inside. And I'll just, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I'll just take everything out and show you one by one. So I'm going to put it on the table. And then I feel like I didn't do a good job showing you the inside. So that that's what it looks like. So it's a good amount of space. And I will admit that this is the type of bag. Like if you are a, I have to leave the house with everything and the kitchen sink type of person, this is not going to be the bag for you. This bag is definitely for essentials. So don't put too much stuff in there because obviously it's not going to fit. And it's funny because I made fun of my mom for years about like how little stuff she carries in her purses and I'm turning into my mother. So let's get into the bag. The first thing that I have in here is my phone, which if we're being honest, my phone is never in my purse. It's usually like on my hip, but I just wanted to show you guys. I have the iPhone, what do I have? Oh my God. I have the iPhone 11 Pro and it fits perfectly in the bag. No issues there. So I'm just gonna set my phone down. And then I have my car keys in there, just simple. All my keychains, And then next I have I feel like when I carry this bag, I don't usually actually carry a wallet. I usually just take out my license, my debit card, any cards that I want to use, and I just throw them in the bag. It just takes up less space, but here's my little wallet that I have. And just to touch on this wallet real quick, it's a Louis Vuitton dupe, and I can definitely share more about this wallet and other Louis Vuitton dupes for you in another video. Just comment and let me know if you would like to see that. So here's my wallet. It's a, there you go. It's a, it's not super thick, but you know, got all my cards in there, essentials, no cash, cause never carry cash on me. And then I just have a lip gloss and a lipstick. 
This is, so these are the two colors that I usually wear for the winter time. This is MAC Antique Velvet. Love this. Favorite, favorite lipstick. Besides the one that I'm wearing, which is MAC Ruby Woo. And then I've had this. I need to give this a rest and get a new one. This is Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the color Dominatrix. Mm, okay. Did not know that. I've had this forever. But I need a new one. And that is everything that's in my bag. That is normally what I would carry inside of this bag. And to show you what it looks like empty. Oh, wait. Then I, there, I don't know what, Gucci gives you like a little swatch. And I just kept that in there. I don't know why, but we're just, we're going to put that back in there. This is what the bag looks like empty. This may not look like a lot of room to some people, but this is the perfect size for me. Then there's a little pocket here and there, I told you about this pocket right here on the back, which I don't, sorry y'all, my cat tried to crash the video. As I was saying, on the back there is this pocket. It's not that functional. It doesn't even open up that much, but I have put a couple of business cards back there before, but I just like the design element of it. You know, the brown mixed with the black and this is, what is this, the canvas, the, I'll put it in the description box for you. I, words are failing me right now, sorry. <laughs> but that's it, that's everything that fits in my bag. Here's what it looks like on. You can wear it over one shoulder. It hits me at the top of my thigh and I'm five foot three for reference with a short torso. My favorite way to wear the bag is as a crossbody and here it sits nicely on my hip. The last way would be to double the straps and wear it under your arm or in the crook of your arm. Now I will admit that's not usually how I'd wear the bag, but it is another option. Now on to the pros and cons of this bag. I didn't see many people carrying this bag, so that definitely sold me because I just don't want to have the same bag as everybody else and it's very unique, but it also made it hard when deciding to go with this bag because there weren't many reviews on it. I was torn between this bag and the Gucci Marmot and I'm so glad that I picked this because after seeing literally every blogger and their mom carrying the Gucci Marmot, I was like, mm, I think I'm sick of that bag. Let me go with something that's more original and something that's unique that I don't see many people carrying it. By the way, did not tell you guys that this, but I got this bag, I purchased it at Fashion File which I don't know if you've ever heard of Fashion File, but it's like a Trade C or Real Real. Basically, they authenticate pre-loved bags and they categorize them from new, excellent, good condition, great condition, and they give you the dimensions, they tell you about the bag, any flaws that it may have. And the great thing about it is that you get the bag for a fraction of the price. Plus, they also have like layaway options. So I really love that about the bag too. If you're a huge handbag lover, I think you'd find a lot of value in Fashion File. The other pros about the bag, I love the gold hardware on it. I love this chain. It looks so expensive and rich. Well, it was expensive, let's be honest. <laughs> and I just love the gold hardware here on the padlock. And... I've heard people complain about the padlock because sometimes if you don't um, push it in all the way, it doesn't lock, but it depends on how much stuff you have in there. I haven't had any issues with it, so it doesn't bother me at all. I also love the black and the brown. Oh, I forgot about that. The black and the brown color and the texture. I love the mix of the leather with the canvas. It's like coated canvas. I think that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, so it'll wear well. So if you spill something on here, you can just wipe it off. It, you know, you don't have to baby it too much. And even if you get like a scratch or a scuff, why am I holding this so awkward? If you get a scratch or a scuff in the leather, you can kind of just buff it out and it's fine. On to the cons. Not many cons. I told you guys, overall, I love this bag, but I will say that I wish that it had feet. Not a huge con in my book because I'm not putting this bag on the floor. Like I said, it costs way too much money for me to be putting this bag on the floor. But I would prefer a bag that had feet. And it's funny because now that I think about it, I'm looking at my Gucci Disco. That doesn't have feet either. Not the biggest issue in the world, but it is, you know, it can be a, an issue for some people. But the base of the bag is nice and structured. 
Another con would be that the padlock right here actually makes the bag a little top heavy and it, it falls over, it doesn't like to sit flat, which if you don't have that much stuff in the bag, yeah, that could be an issue and it could fall over. But like I said, I'm not sitting this bag down anywhere anyway. But you guys can see it, it's empty right now and it's just sitting there on the table and it's not having any issues. The last con about the bag, I would say, honestly, it would be if you're really reaching and you're nitpicking, but it would be the size. Gucci is known for making a version of a bag in a couple different sizes. So usually, basically you do like a small, medium, and a large. And this bag only comes in a small and then in a large size. I wish that it came in like a medium size that was more like my Gucci Disco. I'm gonna just show you, it's right here. That's why I keep looking down. So. Here's my Gucci Disco, and if you guys want to see a handbag review, like comparing the two bags, leave a comment in the comment section. But here are the two bags side by side. You can see that the Gucci Disco is just slightly larger than the padlock, and I just wish that the padlock was a little bit bigger, not much, but for crossbodies, this, like, I would prefer no bigger than this Gucci Disco. I am an absolute crossbody lover. Like, they're the bags that I just reach for time and time again. That's all I have to say about that. I didn't tell you about the dimensions, and that is why I have this little tape measure over here. Let's measure it. The bag is eight inches wide, and the height is about, like, five inches high and depth it is about three and a half three and a half inches and i will put the the dimensions of my gucci disco too just so you can see but if that helps somebody out there because when i got this bag and when i was considering buying this bag i did not really have that many things that I could reference it to. So I think it was nice to see it in comparison to my Gucci Disco. If you are considering this bag, I say go for it. It's an absolute beauty and I'm just so in love with it and so happy with the purchase. Y'all totally have to forgive me. I forgot one important key design element, which actually is added security for the bag. So it's called the Gucci padlock because you know, this front area is the padlock, but this little tassel right here, I know you thought that it was just there for style, but if you go like this, there's actually two keys in there. And the keys are for the padlock. And all you do is you just take one of the keys, you stick it in the padlock, you click it, and it locks your bag. So now when you go to click on the clasp or push on the clasp, it's locked. You can't get in there. And then to open it up, you just Put your key in there again, twist, boop, and now you can get in your bag. How about that? So you got style and you got function and security all in one. Like I said, overall, I absolutely love, 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 love this bag. I have no regrets. I would buy it again. I would buy it in another color. And if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the content that you want to see. And if you have any ideas or any videos that you want me to see or something that I missed, leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you are updated when I have new posts, new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.